Welcome to Aetna and Public Policy, a group presentation by Elsa O'Callaghan, Emily Snyder, Jacqueline Garza, and Jason Wright. First, an overview. Aetna believes all Americans should have access to affordable, high-quality health care services and is committed to transformation of the health care marketplace. In addition to full compliance with the Affordable Care Act passed in 2010, Aetna has identified four key areas in which it can help make health care reform more effective. These include addressing the true drivers of medical costs responsible for rising health care premiums, reforming the medical payment system, harnessing the power of health information technology, and improving the quality of health care outcomes. In the first part of this presentation, we're going to cover the areas of activity that Aetna is currently involved in. Then we're going to look at opportunities for improvement. I hope you enjoy it. The Affordable Care Act impacts every portion of the health care industry and the broader economy. Social, economic, and technological forces are rapidly changing today's health care environment. These forces include cost of health care, health care reform, access and affordability issues, consumers being more in charge of their own health care, employers requesting more cost-effective solutions, providers assuming greater risk in their practice, and health information technologies changing the way we connect. Incorporating the ACA into everyday business makes healthcare more effective within the system, especially as it continues to change. Among some of the ACA changes, Aetna has extended access to more affordable health insurance, focused on increasing preventable services to lower overall cost, promoted portable health savings accounts, and provided insurance options for low-income individuals and families. Aetna recognizes healthcare costs currently consume 17.9% of the gross domestic product and are expected to grow to 19.8% by 2020. Major medical costs stem from technology and patient focus, which includes lifestyle choice and chronic disease conditions. Aetna's operations and integration of the ACA work to tackle many of these medical costs at the root, making healthcare more efficient and effective for the patient. Because of the growing cost of health care, Aetna has started Accountable Care Solutions, which promote accountable care organizations where health care providers are rewarded for helping people get and stay healthy. Aetna believes the American health care payment system should focus on quality over quantity. Aetna invests in a number of studies, partnerships, IT solutions, and efficiency practices to lower the costs and raise the quality of care. In 2008, Nova Health, an independent physician association based in Portland, partnered with Aetna to create a care management pilot program for a population of approximately 750 of Aetna's Medicare Advantage members. Aetna and Nova Health published the results of their collaboration in the September issue of Health Affairs. Among their findings were that hospital admissions per 1,000 patients in 2011 were 44.6% lower than the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services risk-adjusted main market data. They also found the rate of hospital stays was 50.1% lower than the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services risk-adjusted main market data. And in 2011, the program's 30-day all-cause hospital readmission rate was 56% lower than the nationally representative unmanaged Medicare population rate. Nova Health's total member per month costs across all cost categories for program participants were 16.5% to 33% lower than costs for non-Aetna members. Northern Virginia's Innova Health System is teaming with Aetna to create an unusual health care plan in which both sides will share costs and profit. The partnership, one of the first of its kind in the nation, will provide financial incentives to encourage doctors to use less costly care such as prevention, but also promises to measure and reward quality. We really think that creating a network of partners, all of whom agree to treat their patients with the best known practice, that is what can materially improve the outcomes and reduce the cost, said Innova Health System's Chief Executive Knox Singleton. We think this selective focus can get us the best care around. Edna's partnerships with Nova Health, Innova Medical Systems, and IT companies work to break barriers to accessing and paying for health care. Looking at the recent failures of healthcare.gov, the importance of a good user experience cannot be overlooked. Aetna has acquired many health IT companies and partnered with others to develop specialized health solutions in the IT field. 
Many solutions are in the form of mobile apps and specialized technology. Aetna currently utilizes iTriage, a digital solution and its consumer health platform, CarePass. iTriage is an app that helps people care for the future. CarePass is a website that allows you to connect to all relevant apps in the health and wellness field. The app has been downloaded 10 million times, with 50 million uses each year by consumers to research symptoms, find a medical provider who meets their personal needs, and share information and manage their whole health from one secure sign-on. Aetna also promotes Healthogen, which helps bring together a wide range of payer-neutral population health management solutions and health IT capabilities, and its Active Health Management Care Engine Clinical Decision Support System. Under the ACA, healthcare outcomes are expected to improve for the average individual with increased preventive care and access to wellness tools. These include health risk assessments, weight management, and smoking cessation programs. Aetna continues to work to improve patient care, researching and implementing solutions to increase efficiency and effectiveness. An example of this is the Medical Home Demonstration Project. The project is designed to utilize evidence-based treatments for patients, improve management of side effects, and lower costs by reducing hospitalizations and emergency room visits. We are exploring a number of different reimbursement models, said Dr. Michael Kolodej, Aetna's National Medical Director for Oncology Strategy. He added that these new models, such as primary care and specialty practice medical homes, move healthcare payment away from its traditional transactional model and towards a system with more built-in quality measures and accountability. The oncology medical homes, he said, could better manage the treatment of side effects and reduce unnecessary readmission to the hospital. It's going to improve quality, and the extra special bonus is that I think it's going to control costs, said the doctor. The program effectively decreased emergency room visits by 39.8%, decreased hospital admissions by 16.5%, and reduced the number of hospital stays by 35.9% among 184 enrolled members. The program resulted in approximately 12% cost savings among patients with lung, breasts, and colorectal cancers alone. A 2012 case study by the Commonwealth Fund looked at Aetna's decision to place nurse case managers in 36 primary care practices to work alongside providers and their offices to help manage patients' conditions. These outcomes included improved care processes, some improvements in care outcomes, and reduced numbers of hospitalizations. Now we move on to our Opportunities section. Across the country, enrollment has been lower than expected in the ACA, especially with the young, healthy people who are key to the marketplace to keep rates low for all. Aetna expects to lose money in 2014 due to the new plans sold through the marketplace, which mostly skew to an older age. There are potential opportunities, however. Aetna can increase enrollment outreach and community engagement programs. It can emphasize tax-based incentives for individuals and employers to enter the marketplace. It can grow health savings accounts and it can increase partnerships to reach underserved populations. Aetna can support development and availability of affordable insurance. It can improve affordability of prescription drugs. It can remove barriers to generic competition as part of that. It can encourage uniformity of state laws and regulations. And it can promote greater health insurance portability. First, through health savings accounts. By facilitating the growth of consumer-directed health plans with health savings accounts, which save for future medical needs by investing in tax-favored accounts that are portable. He can also permit the purchase of health insurance across state borders, which is a contentious issue in the federal health care exchange. Aetna can increase partnerships for a more comprehensive and accessible health system. A competitive marketplace and strong public health system are not mutually exclusive. For examples, look at its partnerships with Latino Health Access and Innova Health Systems. It can continue research into these opportunities. It can also study reimbursement models for a more effective and consumer-friendly payment system. And it can also look into health technology development. Business as usual is no longer a viable option for the many providers, employers, and payers who want to offer high-quality health care while managing spiraling costs. Look at Active Health. Acquired by Aetna in 2005, it develops several ambulatory care measures endorsed by the National Quality Forum. Quality measures also help outside organizations meet requirements for new value-based care delivery models, like accountable care organizations, patient-centered medical homes, and clinically integrated networks. Opportunities to expand health information and access over mobile devices and online are also good options. Aetna can utilize technology for health promotions, wellness, and primary care programs. It can increase portability and health information transfer between the patient and physician. 
All of these health IT resources help Aetna achieve their goal of providing healthcare solutions and achieving their mission statement. Aetna can support best practices analysis and research, including cost-effectiveness data to determine which medical technologies, protocols, and drugs are most effective. It can reward healthcare providers who utilize pay-for-performance programs to improve practice efficiencies. These kind of programs equip providers with the information and tools necessary for improving practice outcomes and efficiencies. It can partner with local organizations like Latino Health Access to reduce racial and ethnic disparities in healthcare, including the analysis of treatment and outcomes of data to ensure sustained progress in eliminating disparities. It can encourage public-private coordination and collaboration and it can increase integration among medical, behavioral, and dental services. That is the end of our presentation. Thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it.